Today, I'm going to talk about the career of Charles Leclerc. 2014, Charles Leclerc graduated to single-seaters, racing for Formula Renault 2.0 Alps, championship for British team Fortec Motorsports. During the season, he took seven podium positions, including a double victory at Monza, to finish runner-up in the championship behind Nick de Vries. Leclerc also won the junior championship title in the final race of the season at Jerez. Leclerc also took part in a partial Euro Cup Formula Renault 2.0 season with Fortec as a guest driver. In the six races he contested, he finished on the podium three times, taking a second place at the Nürburgring, followed by a pair of second place finishes at the Hungora Ring. Leclerc graduated to Formula 3 in 2015, racing in the FIA Formula 3 European Championship with Dutch team Van Armsfort Racing. At the opening round of the season in Silverstone, Leclerc inherited pole position for the second and third race of the weekend after original pole sitter was excluded for a technical infringement. He went on to take his first victory in the third race of that weekend. He took his second victory at the following round at Hockenheim, winning the third race as well as taking two additional podiums in the three rookie victories over the course of the event. The clerk scored a third win in the first race at Spa, which saw him take the lead in the championship. However, Leclerc finished fourth in the standings, mostly due to damage he sustained to his car chassis following a collision with Lance Stroll at Zandvoort. In December 2015, Leclerc partook in a post-season testing with ART Grand Prix. February 2016, De Vries confirmed that Leclerc would race in the 2016 GP3 season. ART signed Leclerc the following week. With the team, he claimed three victories and took the title in his first year of the series. The week following his victory in the GP3 title race, Leclerc was confirmed to be graduating to Formula 2 series for the 2017 season with Prima Racing alongside fellow GP3 racer and Ferrari junior Antonio Fuco. He made his debut in Bahrain where he took pole position for the feature race, but only finished third. In the sprint race, his Prima team chose to take a mid-race pit stop, which is very uncommon in the shorter sprint races. He pushed harder on the medium Pirelli tyres, creating a 9 second lead before pitting. This would drop him to 14th place, but Leclerc overtook 13 cars and took victory by overtaking on the final lap. After taking pole position for the second time in a row, he then fought off to win again in Catalonia feature race despite radio issues. In claiming the championship, Leclerc became the youngest ever championship of the main support series for Formula 1 at 19 years 356 days old and the first driver since Nico Hülkenberg in 2009 to win the championship in their rookie season. For the 2018 Formula 1 World Championship, Leclerc signed for Sauber F1 team as a race driver, replacing Pascal Verlein alongside Marcus Ericsson. This marked the first appearance for the Monegas Formula 1 driver since Oliver Bretta in 1994. At the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, a sixth place finish saw him become the second Monegas driver to score points in Formula 1. At his first home race in Formula 1, Leclerc suffered a brake failure in the closing laps, colliding into the back of Brendan Hartley and forcing both cars into retirement. Three consecutive finishes followed before a run of five races without points. This run included three retirements, a loose wheel in Britain, suspension damage after colliding with Perez in Hungary and a multi-car incident at Belgium caused by Nico Hülkenberg, which resulted in Fernando Alonso being launched over the top of Leclerc's car. More points finishes come with 9th in Singapore and 7th in Russia before retirements from a mechanical failure in Japan and damage from a collision with Roman Gojon in the United States. He ended the season with three consecutive 7th place finishes and a final in the final three races, Leclerc outqualified teammate Ericsson 17 times from 21 races and finished 13th in the championship with 39 points. Ferrari signed Leclerc for the 2019 season, replacing 2007 world champion Kimi Raikkonen, who took his place at Sauber, which later rebranded as Alfa Romeo. While only initially announced for 2019, Ferrari later announced that Leclerc's contract was going to be for four seasons long, running until at least until 2022. 
In his first Grand Prix driving for Ferrari, he started and finished in fifth position at the Australian Grand Prix. His second qualifying Ferrari at the Bahrain, he qualified on pole position for the first time in his Formula 1 career, having the fastest times in two of the three practice sessions and all of the three qualifying sessions, setting a new track record and becoming the youngest Ferrari pole sitter. Leclerc led for the majority of the race but lost the lead when he was overtaken by Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas due to engine dropping a cylinder with a failed fuel injector. Later in the race, a safety car prevented the charging of Max Verstappen from taking third place, leading to the first podium of Leclerc's Formula 1 career. Leclerc ended the 2019 season in fourth place in the championship with 264 points, ahead of teammate Vettel. During the first season at Ferrari, he recorded 10 podium finishes, 2 wins, 4 fastest laps and the most pole positions of any driver that season, with 7. Leclerc therefore became the first non-Mercedes driver to win the pole position award. He also became the first Monegas to win a Formula 1 World Championship Grand Prix. Before competing at the 70th anniversary Grand Prix in 2020 at Silverstone, Leclerc reacted reacted angrily to accusations that he was a racist and opposed to the Black Lives Matter movement. Responding by saying racism is disgusting and accused headlines of attempting to manipulate his words. The accusations come after he was one of six drivers who opted not to take the knee during a pre-race ceremonies of the opening events of the 2020 Formula One Championship. In 2020 was not Ferrari's strongest season. Leclerc finished the championship in eighth, scoring only 98 points. At the beginning of the 2021 season, Leclerc extended his contract with Ferrari until the end of 2024. Leclerc had a new teammate at Ferrari for 2021 with Carlos Sainz Jr., replacing Sebastian Vettel, who had signed with Aston Martin. Leclerc finished second at the Silverstone Grand Prix behind Lewis Hamilton after Hamilton overtook him with two laps to go. This would be Leclerc's only podium of the 2021 season. In the 2022 season, Leclerc took pole position at the opening Bahrain Grand Prix, his 10th career F1 pole. He won the Grand Prix and his Ferrari's first victory since 2019, batting closely with Red Bull's Max Verstappen throughout the race. His Ferrari teammate Carlos Sainz Jr. finished second for Ferrari, a 1-2. Leclerc received 25 points, plus an additional one point for the fastest lap, bringing the total to 26. The result meant that Ferrari took the lead in the Drivers' Constructors' Championship respectively. In doing so, he led the Formula 1 World Championship for the first time and also become the first ever Monegas driver to lead the Formula 1 World Championship. In the final race of the 2022 season at Abu Dhabi, Leclerc and Sergio Perez faced off for a second place in the Drivers' Championship, tied at an even 290 points each. Despite starting the race in P3, one place behind Perez in P2, Leclerc overtook his competitor and held on to finish in P2 for the race, securing both second place in the Drivers' Championship for himself and as well as second place in the Constructors' Championship for Ferrari. The 2023 season was dominated by none other than Max Verstappen for Red Bull. Ferrari were their, the closest competitors to Red Bull. Leclerc managed to secure fifth place in the championship, although it was his teammate Carlos Sainz who achieved Ferrari's only win of the year in Singapore, interrupting Red Bull's perfect winning streak. Ahead of the 2024 season, Leclerc opted to extend his contract with Ferrari. The length of the contract was not specified, although the press release published by Ferrari stated the deal would see Leclerc wearing the Ferrari race suit for several more seasons to come. Leclerc finished fourth in the season opener after a battle with teammate Sainz. He achieved his first podium of the season in Jeddah, while Ferrari Junior and Formula 2 driver Oliver Berman substituted for Sainz. Leclerc finished second in Australia to teammate Sainz to complete a Ferrari 1-2 finish their first time since Bahrain 2022. Leclerc picked his third and fourth podium of the season in Miami and Imola, finishing third on both occasions. Leclerc won the Monaco Grand Prix home race for the first time ever from pole position. He became the first Monegas to win at Monaco since 1931 and for the first time since the event became part of the Formula One World Championship. In 2025, Leclerc's teammate is due to be seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, 
who will replace Carlos Sainz on a multi-year contract. Do we think the clerk will remain as Ferrari's number one driver or will Lewis Hamilton take that title? How will the clerk withstand the pressure from driving alongside a seven-time world champion, Lewis Hamilton? Let us know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.